Hello. Welcome back to Capital Street. In the last video, we had discussed one simple but effective way to trade the news using breakouts. Today, we will see how traders determine the overall market trend, without getting affected by short-term spikes brought about by data or news. We would like to introduce a concept here that we call hawks and doves. The policy stance of central banks and governments is one of the most important factors that influences the move of the market in medium and long term. Central banks and governments make policies and take steps that change the economic environment. And these changes affect the values of all asset markets in the economy. Every day, we hear phrases such as hawkish policy, or dervish remarks, from the central bank or the government, and many other such terms. For many of us, these are mysterious concepts. In fact, hawkish and dovish are terms used to describe the tendency of the government or central bank's overall policy. So let's start by asking what is a hawk? When we mention a hawk, we immediately imagine a sharp eye, and a predatory and unsympathetic nature. Therefore, a hawkish central bank or government implies that the direction of the overall policy is towards tight and strict economic policy measures. This situation usually occurs when an economy is growing too fast. To prevent the economy from overheating, and to prevent financial bubbles, the government or the central bank has to focus on some prudent steps. These include raising interest rates, decreasing the money supply, increasing reserve requirements at financial institutions. This helps cool off economic activity to manageable levels. This can be thought of something like using the brakes on a high-speed sports car to prevent accidents. Let's consider an example about the UK economy. In mid-2015, the UK economy returned to a level of health that was last seen before the subprime crisis. The second quarter GDP report from the UK met expectations of robust growth. On a yearly basis, the economy grew 2.6%, while on a quarterly basis, it expanded 0.7%. The UK economy at the time was showing signs of comparatively robust economic performance drew policy markers' attention to monetary policy normalisation. This was considered as a hawkish policy stance by those in charge of monetary policy. Now we come to the other case, the dove. So what is a dove? A dove is a symbol of peace and reminds people of something docile and placid. Consequently, central banks and governments that deploy easy economic policy as a means of encouraging growth, investment and employment are named after this graceful bird. Lowering interest rates or increasing the money supply or increasing government spending on things like infrastructure and industry, tends to allow money to move freely within the economy and builds up demand for borrowing and consumption. This not only spurs consumer spending but also boosts investment. As a result, more jobs are added, individuals and companies generate greater income and everyone is happy. Here we shall consider a second example. Since the early 90s, Japan has fought a continuing battle with deflation for more than 15 years. This occurred due to a major collapse of the asset bubbles of the late 1980s. In its attempt to recover from this slowdown, Japan has continued to use very lenient economic policy such as increasing spending, as well as extreme easy monetary policy with very low interest rates on savings, to encourage spending instead of saving. Under this policy, the Central Bank of Japan has purchased Japanese government bonds, private sector corporate bonds and commercial paper to increase the supply of money in the system. It has also tried to maintain a low exchange rate for the Japanese yen to boost demand for its exports and maintain healthy industrial activity. Further, in its first meeting in 2016, the Bodge unexpectedly cut its benchmark interest rate to below zero, and stated that it would cut interest rates further if necessary, to rescue Japan's economy from the verge of recession. This can be considered a very good example of what can be called as dovish policy or dovish policy makers. 
This was the first part of the topic hawks and doves. The second part which studies the connection between central bank policy and the market sentiment will be released next week. Thank you for watching.